So recently, I made a video on my channel about good investments for your photo or video business and how sometimes those investments can be quite boring or uninteresting, but how they still help out in the grand scheme of things with moving your business forward. Well, in that video, I mentioned how a decent video tripod was a needed investment for me and something that I need to get quite soon. And that's because my beloved S5 actually fell from a cheap tripod, almost costing me £3,000. Story time. So there I was on a shoot filming a music video. I was getting a performance take of the artist, so my camera was stationary on the tripod. I had the Panasonic S5 with a 24 to 105 lens fitted, as well as a small red cage fitted to the whole system, and the Desview R7 monitor. And all in all, that setup is around two kilograms, so it's not a ridiculously heavy payload by any means. I was standing about three feet away from the tripod whilst this take was going on, as I was directing the tan in what to do during the take. Everything was going smoothly until the tripod decided to give up, and then it started its very quick descent down to the cold hard floor. I tried to catch it but I was too late and my poor S5 hit the ground. Of course in the moment I wanted to cry but I had to play it cool because I was with a client and I was on a professional shoot. So naturally I rush over to the camera on the floor and I start to give it a once over to check that everything's okay and the first thing that I check of course is the micro HDMI port pretty because I had a monitor connected to the setup. Luckily there was no damage to the port and it still works absolutely fine. The next thing to check for me was of course the lens mount and the sensor so I very very carefully took the lens off the mount and had a little look at the sensor and luckily there was no scratches no weird blemishes or anything um, so that was good but there was some damage to the lens mount and of course meaning that there was damage to the camera mount as well however everything still switched on and it all still worked fine and the image was still coming out clear but from that point onwards there was a slight looseness in the connection between the lens and the camera so of course that was a bummer but like I just said the camera switched on and worked just fine and the actual s5 body looked intact it looked pristine there was nothing wrong with that and to be honest I think that's down to the fact that I had a small rig cage attached to the whole setup and having that extra sort of metal barrier if you like between the camera on the floor definitely did help uh, in preserving you know the camera from getting completely annihilated so of course this told me that cages aren't just great for rigging up your camera setup but they're also really good at protecting your camera should it fall from a cheap tripod luckily my camera survived the fall with only a minor repair needing to be made on the actual mounting system but apart from that everything still worked fine and it could have been a lot worse my point is we all tend to spend thousands of pounds on our camera bodies and our lenses and stuff but we don't really want to spend any money on the surrounding gear that helps support us use that stuff. Like let's say grip gear, like light stands and tripods and all that sort of stuff. And my whole thing is like, why do we have that mentality? Why are we so comfortable letting ourselves use this expensive equipment when it's not being supported properly? Your camera body will last you a few years before you get bored and pointlessly upgrade it, even though the camera you have is absolutely fine, but that's just what we do because we want the latest and greatest thing. However, the chances are if we invest in grip gear, like light stands and even tripods and stuff, we won't need to upgrade that if we do make the initial investment because that stuff does last a lifetime. The tripod I have now. So don't get me wrong, after this happened I didn't run out and buy a £1,500 tripod as soon as I could. I still think I'm quite conservative when it comes to spending money on this sort of stuff but what I wanted to do was find a decent video tripod that wouldn't break the bank and that would also serve its purpose and last me quite a while. And the tripod I actually ended up getting was actually from Amazon and it is a K-Air BV30L. Now this tripod cost me £140 and it's made from aluminium so it's really good quality and it's really sturdy and it also came with a fluid head that can actually be swapped out and changed should I want to upgrade the fluid head in the future. It's far more robust than the tripod I was using and for the small investment of £140 I now know that I've got a tripod that will last me a few years hopefully come along with me when I do actually change my camera setup a few times in that time and I have a lot more confidence in using it so therefore it is a really good investment and I do not know why I didn't make that investment earlier. So to wrap up I really hope this video has sort of helped you to sort of change your perspective on what you should prioritise when buying new equipment for your photo or video business. If you're currently using a cheap tripod to hold up your expensive camera gear, then I urge you to go out and buy something that's just a little bit better and a little bit more sturdy before something like what happened to me happens to you. So, thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it somewhat educational or entertaining, and if you did, then please consider subscribing. And hopefully, I shall see you in the next one. Thank you.